The New Zealand weightlifter Laurel Hubbard is set to become the first transgender athlete to compete at the Olympics. The country's Olympic Committee has named her as part of the women's team for the Tokyo Games. I asked our correspondent Phil Mercer about the background to this decision. Sport is all about pushing boundaries and that's certainly what Laurel Hubbard will be doing at the Tokyo Olympics. She will be the first transgender athlete to compete at the Games. She has satisfied domestic and international criteria. She was competing in men's events until she transitioned in 2012 and uh, she's had a pretty decorated career for New Zealand. Back in 2017, she won a silver medal at the World Championships. She thought her career was over at the Commonwealth Games a year later in 2018 when she broke her arm, um, but she's back to full fitness and back in the squad. And New Zealand Olympic officials are very cognizant of the fact that uh, gender identity, in their words, is a very sensitive and complex issue in sport that requires a balance between human rights and the need for fairness in the field of play. There will be those who disapprove of her selection, but as far as the athlete herself is concerned, she said in a statement that she was humbled and that she was grateful. Yes, I mean, it has caused a little bit of controversy, hasn't it? Certainly has. Uh, sport is uh, about drama and certainly the inclusion of Laurel Hubbard in New Zealand's Olympic squad will add an extra layer of intrigue. Now, for quite a long time now, there's been a heated debate in sporting and scientific circles about uh, an apparent unfairness or an apparent advantage gained by transgender athletes competing against other women and uh, safe to say this controversy will almost certainly continue there have been rumblings of discontent among at least one of her weightlifting rivals in the past and you'd have to say due to the sensitive and delicate nature of it uh, of this particular issue it will continue but as far as new zealand is concerned it's a very proud sporting country a country of about five million people and safe to say uh, you, you'd have to say that the majority of new zealanders will be backing their team including laurel hubbard come the uh, olympics in tokyo